Now, what in the carnival is going on here? So, we gotta talk about a fishy situation that recently took place with a carnival passenger in which they have now been banned from Carnival Cruise Line for a stupid mistake after sailing on their first cruise ever with the company. Now, of course, I'll go over all the details and little giblets involved with this situation and, of course, give my opinion. However, first, I do have to address the cruise ship in the room. As most of you know, I have not posted news in like three weeks well, honestly, at this point, it's about a month. I had this video that went viral about a tragedy that happened on my Virgin Cruise. You guys all know about it. it gets half a million views. I'm used to the views. However, when you have organizations and media companies like ABC, Fox, Business Insider all pick it up and start reaching out to me, it was a little much for me. And I didn't want to seem like I was capitalizing on the situation. And, well, I got people thinking I leaked stuff out to TMZ. And, well, it, it created a very, very dramatic situation. And I figured the cruise news needed to kind of lay low for a little while however it's back and Lauren has also gone back to Europe so now with the exception of me seeing my family I can sit here in my underwear all day long and just make videos and I'm so excited to do so speaking of which I do have a very thorough review of my first time on Celebrity Cruises on their newest ship the Celebrity Beyond coming out today at 6 p.m. Eastern Time so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and of course whenever it pops up on your screen go ahead and click it and watch it to its entirety I'd really appreciate it now let's go ahead and check out this clip and we'll go over the details after oh my god you actually caught a fish <gasps> oh, dude. oh god don't swing don't swing it into somebody's place oh sorry mm. ah! <gasps> what is it a fish caught a fish oh my we got one you could say you caught a fish in the bahamas <laughs> oh my god! Now how the hell you gonna get all that shit out of him? You gotta unhook him, you gotta throw him back. Oh, that's a cool looking fish though. <gasps> Ew, he's flopping water on me. It's gross. <laughs> ah! He's heavy. I have so many questions when it comes to this situation here. We do know that it was this gentleman's first cruise ever because if you look at his lanyard, he has a blue sign and sail car attached to it, which is a telltale sign, an obvious sign that it is his first time. He's popping the cruise ship cherry, if you will, and... Well, once you start earning your stripes and upgrading a little bit, then, well, you get these, the gold and then the red, and then you just kind of work your status up all the way up to the, I believe it's a platinum or something like that. But anyway, looking at this, I just have to, I have to ask the question, who talked to this man or what gave him the idea that he should bring, well, it doesn't look like he has a fishing rod, but uh, uh, some fishing line with a hook and, and maybe some bait, maybe he grabbed a, a piece of chicken from, from Shaq's Big Chicken, I don't know, and, and put it in that water and decide that he could you know, catch a fish. What made him think something so stupid would be a great idea? Carnival has responded to this atrocity with a quickness to nip it all in the bud so that we don't have repeat offenders because we know that could be a very real possibility for somebody that wants a little bit of clout or, you know, they want to get some internet fame for five to ten seconds on TikTok. Well, I don't even think it's that long because the attention spans on TikTok is like, I don't know, one, two seconds. Anywho, what I did find out, which I thought was very interesting, is that you can, in fact, believe it or not, actually bring a fishing rod on board Carnival ships. However, it's specifically designed for you to bring them on for fishing excursions that are available on certain destinations that you may go to on Carnival ships. You can't just leave it in your room and decide to go fishing off the balcony. Uh, the ambassador of Carnival Cruise Line, John Held, has also weighed in on the situation. But also, it is in the policies of Carnival Cruise Line because while fishing off balconies technically, technically isn't uh, part of the rules, right? Saying that you, There's no rule saying that you can't do it. This man brought a, uh, he broke a myriad of other rules. For example, you do have a section 9A, to sound a little nerdy here, which states that you are indeed going to follow all of Carnival's rules and policies. You have section 4E that states that you are not going to bring any live animals on board unless it is a qualified service animal, like a service dog, something of that nature. You also have section 9J, which states that you are going to follow all of the environmental rules. For example, like you are not going to toss anything overboard, like especially of course a live animal now we don't know exactly based off the clip what exactly happened to the fish however i would hope 
that the fish was kept alive and, and thrown back into the ocean where it belongs. But nevertheless, this man broke a bunch of rules on his first cruise, so for that reason, well, he's banned to the Shadow Realm to never be seen again on a carnival ship, which I do personally think it's justified to some degree. I only say somewhat because we've all been on our first cruise before. We don't know all of the rules, and I do have the basic understanding that Common sense isn't exactly common. Don't fight on a cruise ship. Don't try to bed wrestle with somebody else's husband or wife. Don't go fishing on the balcony. So I'm just saying, yes, he should be banned. No questions asked when it comes to this particular situation. But again, you got to understand, too, how many times have we been to Nassau, Bahamas, and we've seen that gorgeous blue greenish water that you can see all the way down to the bottom i'm sure you've probably wondered what kind of fish are down there well now we know we got a, a box trunk fish thing and, and it looks beautiful okay so uh, now we know don't do it anybody else don't even try to attempt it don't even think about it there are plenty of fishing excursions for you to enjoy and i think you should just go ahead and leave it at that no matter how tempting it might be because when you look at this man it is clear that he gave this some thought i do wonder that the Bob talk to Jim and say, hey, Jim, you, you make sure you bring some fishing rod with you, some fishing rope, and, and that way you can catch some fish. Like, I, I'm still trying to figure out how he came up with this idea on his first cruise ever. I mean, yes, I mean, there are people out there that are creative enough to say, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Nobody's told me this. Nobody gave me the idea, but I know how the water is. I know what kind of fish are out there, and I know how to catch them. So maybe that was the old thought process with, with this whole situation. But either way, it's very, very strange. And, well, he got what he had coming to him. Anyway, I don't want to sound like a broken record here. Just please follow the rules, guys. Even though Carnival's slogan is the fun ships, it does not mean it's the anything go ships, if that makes sense. Now, guys, just remember, at 6 p.m., I do have my video on Celebrity Beyond. I have a video that I put out a couple days ago from Virgin, very detailed, talking about just everything that happened from the tragedy that happened when I was on board and just the overall experience, seeing as how I will now be going from, well, I was on Scarlet Lady, then Valiant Lady, and then I got two weeks next month on board their newest ship, the one I was supposed to work on, Resilient Lady, over in Greece. And, well, I got other cruises. One as early as next week with NCL as well. So anyway, guys, hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Watch my video later. Please, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see all of you later. Take it easy.